Okay, first of all, on the box art, we can see from the back, we've got Sonia Crid, uh, CAD design there. We've got Samuel Hopkins. We've got a Purifying Flame and three uh, Witchling Stalkers, which I think look absolutely fantastic. Uh, I love the poses of those guys there. They're going to be brilliant to paint. And from the front, we can see we've got the Witchlings down there. We got uh, was it Samuel Hopkins? So yep, Samuel Hopkins, and then Sonia Crid, and we've got the Purifying Flame on the side there. So really nice box art. And let's take a look at the contents of the box. So first of all, we've got our sprue. We've got our cards. We've got our six bases. We've got our card to follow the instructions online with a link there on this side of the card. And we get a foam insert to keep the sprue uh, nice and damage free. Let's take a look at the purifying flame first of all. As we can see it comes in three parts. So it looks fairly straightforward to put together. And I've undecided how I'm going to paint this one, guys. I don't know whether I'm going to go for the the blue uh, flame effect that I've followed through with my death marshals or paint it in more of a traditional flame. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be fun to paint. Nice, simple miniature to paint as well. Probably three or four colours and that will be painted. Um, then we've got our... Witchlings, I am saying the names right, aren't they? They are Witchlings, yes, Witchling Stalkers. And they look great. I'll just show you the rear. And these are all one part miniatures, so it doesn't get any easier than this, guys. Literally cut them off the sprues, put them on the base, and they're good to go. Okay, next we've got Sonia Crid. That looks like part of a tail piece to a coat. Got a really nice sword with a flaming effect on it there, guys. Looks really nice. And then we've got Sonia Crid's head at the top. So that's Sonia Crid. And last but not least, we've got Samuel Hopkins. He's holding a nice gun there. Got some legs. Some really, really fine detail there. You can see how thin that is. I don't know whether that's part of his belt there. And we have another arm. And then we have his head down here. And that's the sprues. So what we'll do now, guys, we'll take a look at the cards. Okay, first of all, we've got Sonia Crid. And we've got our abilities on the front. If you do want to read these guys, hopefully they're clear enough for you to actually read. You can pause the video and you can find out her uh, actions and her abilities. She's got quite a strong willpower of seven, but quite a low defense for a master of four. We've got Purifying Flame. Got his actions on the back there. Got Samuel Hopkins. Got our first Witchling card. A second Witchling. 
and our third witchling and these cars will be the same so there's no point in showing those up to the camera too long and then we've got our forget the name of these type of cards these are bonus cards or upgrade cards that's the word not bonus cards <laughs> so these are upgrade cards guys and as you can see at the front we've got the cost of the upgrade and then we've got what they what the upgrade does for that individual and this one is for Sonya we've got another one for Sonya it's one soul stone cost Another card for Sonya. Another card for Sonya. One for Samuel Hopkins. And one for the Witchling Hunters. Okay guys, that wraps up the video for this one. Let me know what you think of this crew. Um, is it a good crew? Does it play well in game? What do you think of the miniatures guys? Please leave a comment in the comments field down below and I'll catch you in the next video.